Hello everyone, so it's been a while since we did a mini amp comparison. The last video which I did featured the Black Star Fly 3, the Orange Mini M, the Fender and the Marshall. So we did a comparison of those four and God knows what I was smoking in that video. But anyways, now we're back to the end. We have one familiar M which is the Black Star Fly 3, which I felt was the best sounding M when compared with the other three M's that was in the video. And beside it, we have the new Boss Katana Mini. So let's get started right away. Let's quickly go through what is different among these two amps. Number one, the Fly 3 has 3 watts and the Katana Mini has 7 watts of power in the amp. Also, there is a difference in the speaker size. The Blackstar has a 3-inch speaker, whereas the Katana Mini has a 4-inch speaker. Number two is the EQ controls. Now, the Boss has a traditional bass, mids, and treble knob, whereas the Blackstar has the ISF knob, which allows you to go between the best of two worlds, a much more American-sounding tone and a much more British-sounding tone. Number three, the Blackstar has two channels. The first gain stage goes from clean to a uh, edge of breakup kind of crunch tone. At the moment you engage the gain switch, then you go from mid gain tones all the way to high gain tones. The boss on the other hand has three different channels, so you have a clean, a crunch and a brown sound. Now what's similar between the two amps is there's delay built into it. Both the delays sound very similar, in fact I think they have the same amount of delay time. They are both powered by 6 AA batteries and you can get the adapter which is sold separately. And finally both of them have an aux out and also a headphone jack which also acts as a emulated speaker out. So what you can do is you can take a 3.5mm jack out from the amplifier direct into your interface and you can record it direct into your door. So let's get started. I'm going to compare the tones between these two amps. I'm just miking it up with a Shure SM57 and I'm using my Ibanez RGAIX6U with bare knuckle aftermaths. The guitar also has a call tap function so I'll be going uh, through tones with humbuckers and with the humbuckers being tapped. Now the Fly 3 is on the first gain stage so and the gain knob is right in the middle and if you strum hard you really kind of get a sort of edge of breakup tone. So I put in the bridge pickup. Of course I can reduce the gain and bump up the volume for a cleaner tone. So you saw me turn the ISF knob to the right so that it gives you a much more thicker sounding tone. So I'm going to turn it to the left which should give me a much more American sounding tone. It's going to sound a bit more spanky, bright. <laughs> Gonna add some delay in. So let's start pushing the gain up higher on the first gain stage here. Bump the ISF to give a much more thicker sounding tone. Thank <laughs> you. 
I'm gonna max up the gain on the first stage OD. <laughs> So I'm still on the first channel of the Fly 3 and now let's add some slap back to the tone. Now I've engaged the second channel on the Fly 3 and I've reduced the gain so we are still in a crunch territory. Let's up the gain! So let's max out the game with no delay. So this is the sort of gain structure that you can get from the Fly 3. Now let's check out all the three channels on the Katana Mini. Now I have the Katana Mini hooked up, so let's start with the clean channel. So again, I'm going to turn on a gain knob to try to get a much more sparkly kind of tone. Add more bass. And let's add a bit of delay.
So this is the clean channel with the gain up all the way up. So you do get a break up tone if you push the gain all the way up on the clean channel. <laughs> So now let's go to the crunch channel. I'm going to turn the gain uh, all the way down on this. We're still on the crunch channel. So here's the gain all the way up on the crunch channel without any delay. <laughs> Now that is actually already a lot of gain on the crunch channel itself. So finally let's check out the third channel, the brown channel. <laughs> Now for the delay, I'm going to turn the time knob all the way up so we can try and hear if there is a huge difference in terms of time available on a delay and also the character of the repeats. The delays do sound very similar, I can't really tell much of a difference in terms of the quality of the repeats. Even the amount of time on tap seems to be rather similar. 
So there you go, obviously the Katana Mini seems to have much more gain on tap. Personally, I kind of like the black star for its crunch tones. It seems to get you those typical kind of blue stones. If you plug in a strat per se, you have a single coil, you kind of get that nice sparkly kind of crunch. Whereas the Katana Mini seems to be a much more balls to the wall kind of amp to me. It just wants you to freaking scream in high gain. So there you go, there was a quick comparison between these two amps. Hopefully I have to decide between which one you want. Check out musicplace.com.my for pricing info. Give us a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. Subscribe for more content and see you real soon.